Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel hit that feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. Last week I skipped it because I was super sick. I couldn't even talk. It was really bad. So here we go. We're catching back up to the um I think I think this is over here is gosh, I always forget. I should remember this. I don't know, somewhere. There's the schedule. We're just going to be a week behind. Hopefully, we can catch, make some catch-up. Um, maybe I'll get one out, another out this weekend. But, anyway, this week is going to be Engine. If you have a suggestion of a plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people. Otherwise, I'm going to give a shout-out this week to Hound Dog and One Block... Wait, One Cool Blockhead Minecraft. Twice, he... He uh, asked for this, and then Shadow Bomber 10. So shout out to you guys. This is a great plugin. Engine is a free donation management plugin with addition of a website management on it, which is really cool. You can get the premium versions, and then it gives you access to a little bit more flexibility. You can uh, have it point to your own domain. You can have your own, you know, shop dot whatever.com not really going to go over any of that stuff uh here because it's kind of advanced um we're just going to go through how to do the basic setup so you can get you can click on the uh annotations here and jump to that spot setting up your donation store talking about uh the modules on the website and then the pages to manage your website so let's get into it it's pretty quick and easy the first thing you need is you need vault on your server you need a permissions plugin on your server and then there's an optional one of tux to live i didn't even know about this one but what it does is that it allows your server to save items for players who are offline so you don't have to wait for players to be online to give them their stuff from their store so that's really cool and basically the setup is quick and easy you got to go to your you got to click on sign up and then you got to create your own username and password and all that stuff and then it's going to send you an email so you can't use a bogus email and then you got to click on there to confirm and then once you do that it's going to bring you to the website you got to create your website which is where you're going to say pick your website name for this one it's just youtubeguide.engine.com and then you can then you select minecraft and that's going to bring you to a spot where you can download the engine minecraft uh plugin you can also download from bucket but it's also on the engine website and then you want to click on add server so it's going to bring you to a page like so and then you're going to add your server in here basically you're just going to put a server name in there so we'll just put test and then it's going to add it to the list here and give you another um another secret key now without upgrading your plan you can only have two servers on this but we're going to go ahead and delete that one. We don't need that one. Um, oh, I got to put in my password to delete that. Okay. So once we have a server name in there, it's going to have a secret key in here. So what we want to do is we want to copy this key. Obviously, the server is not going to be up even by the time this plugin gets out there. And you want to go into your server. So whether in-game or console in this case. And then you're going to go. Uh, we don't need this. If you're on a server, you got to do and you got to do forward slash engine. But since we're in the console, we don't need to do the the forward slash. So we're gonna go key, and then we're gonna paste that uh, key in, and then we're gonna hit enter. So it's gonna check. So basically, we're just telling our plugin, which checks in with the engine servers, which server it is. And so with that key, it's gonna verify, and then it's gonna connect it to your account. So it takes a little bit before it checks in, but <clears throat> that's pretty. That's it. It will check in eventually. Maybe we'll. we'll uh, I'll be able to show you by the end of this, the tutorial. So the next step is once we have those connected, now we want to set up our store. So we can either click on set up store, or we can click on our donation store, which is the uh, the name, you know, slash shop. And then if we scroll to the bottom and you're logged in as your admin, then you should be able to have access to store admin so in here we have a lot of access to different things we have our settings area where we can change the store type we can 
change the the name we can shop description whole lot of different settings. I'm not really going to go into too much details of this, but you do need to set up your payment gateways, how you want to accept payment. So the basic one is PayPal, and then you want to put in your PayPal email and price offset. So that's like if you're getting, um, if you want to pass on the, um, the fees, the PayPal fees, then you want to put that in here. You know, I think it would be a percentage. I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. There's a whole lot of different other um, methods for paying, paying stuff. And then you can have your payment terms. You can have your notifications. You can even set up a custom uh, setting in here or a custom notification you can even view the variables that you can put into this email that they will get um, once once they make a purchase and all that stuff they like this is all just one page and really it's just kind of looking through all the settings and modifying each one to how you want it to be so you can have auto detect or ask for minecraft since this since your website is associated with your server you can automatically once they log in and set up their account they can uh they can connect that to their in-game character and then then this will automatically detect that and then automatically put that in when they go to the store so you can also um you know add add uh always ask for kind of like when you see the bycraft payment servers now here's kind of the in-game shop which is really cool the way that you set this up is in the config file of engine. Now you can see that the key gets in here as well. Auto update true, all that stuff. You can change what stats are collected. And then the buy command is slash buy. So you want to change that if you want that to be a different, different command. And when they do that, you can also change that in here. And actually, I think if you change it in here, it's automatically update your config file, which is really cool. And then you can change the colors of, of all this stuff of what's going to show up when they do slash buy. Here's global commands. Um, if you want this to be run anytime and our server is still showing up as offline. But that's all the generic basic settings for your shop. So let's get into, you can do coupons in here, which you can create a coupon um, and uh, do all of those settings. You can also make sales, which is going to make it just percentage off across all of your items. Then we're going to go into shop. So we want to go add category. Now we can create, you name the category, whatever you want. You can have a description of whatever you want. You can air it from global store settings. You can change who can view this item. So if you want, you know, if you want like a cumulative effect of, uh, you know, your ranks and then they can just upgrade, then you want to make sure that after they've already purchased that, they can't see the, the previous rank. So you would want to add them in here. You have custom order, alphabetical, highest, lowest, all that stuff. This is the cumulative item purchases inside this category. So you would just check that if you want them to be able to like, they could just, whatever they purchase applies to whatever's above it as well. Enable, enable cumulative discounts based on point. Now the point system is kind of like a built-in website uh, thing where you can set it up where they get points based upon votes or or whatever it is. Um, and they can do that. You can choose a different icon for when they're using it in game. All of that, which is really, really nice. So that's adding categories in your shop. So let's just go ahead and add test and then add category so now you can see that it added that category there so now you can add subcategories from each one you can also add items in here as well by doing normal item test five dollars whatever stuff and things you can change the uh, image of there you can change the in-game shop icon in there you can change the in-game description in there you can say you can change who can view the item if anybody has a user limit. You can change what category it goes under. So we're going to put it under test um, item. And then um, you can have required items that they need to have before they can purchase this. Um, 
man, there's there's a lot of settings, and really it is, you guys just gotta go through and check each one. It's pretty self-explanatory of of the items. Um, and then the tags is kind of like your website-based setup. So if you want people on the website to have special tags, then you would set that up in the users section. There we go, our server is showing up online now. And then that's this is the server that this will run on. Now here's kind of the meat and potatoes of the shop. Each thing that they purchase, you can set up what you want to run against the server. So if you want them to give something, and, and this basically just uses whatever plugins you use. So if you have a crate key plugin or whatever, you would just put this in the command that you need to run uh, to give that player items. So you can view the variables that you can use. So they recommend you use the Minecraft Minecraft players UUID rather than their player name in there. There's a whole lot of other stuff that you can do. You can even create uh, custom variables in here. And then you would just add on to that. So you can add more commands, you can add delays. So it'll wait 60 seconds or whatever. And then you can just you can reorganize these by just clicking and dragging these arrows, all that stuff. It's crazy. There's even a guide in here which is going to help you. Um, actually, sorry, that is the server that we have. So we can do all selected. So if you have multiple servers, you can ch 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 check those. Or you can just run it on just one server, uh, add more commands. That is the store. Hopefully it gets you guys started on the store. It's pretty crazy what you can do with the engine store. Feel free to ask questions. I might just make a follow-up video to go more in-depth with this store. And that. So next step is we want to talk about modifying your website. If you want to adjust the way the layout of your website, obviously this is the default and you can change that. So the way that you would change that is you go up here and you're going to go to pages is what we're going to talk about first. Now pages is the actual layout of your store and you can you can move all that stuff, you can rearrange the size of your of these things, you can click on these, you can delete the column if you want and if you want to work on a different page, so maybe we want to go to the donation store and then this is the layout of our store. So then we can add more things in here. We can add a row and add a module in here. Modules is something we're going to talk about in a second, but basically they're different kind of applications that you can run in your store. So there's latest purchases, you can change the name of these things, you can kind of just click and drag wherever you want them to be, which is, it's a really quick and easy way to, um, like, to make your website. And that's pretty much all that we need to talk about for pages is you can just kind of you can play around with the settings in here um, the big thing to talk about is themes now if you want to change the look like the overall look is you can click on themes here and you can select other free themes to put on your your server so if we want to use this one note paper I don't know we can we can do that and then um, we just got to go back to our website and we'll just do this and there's our new theme now in here you can even do custom themes but I think that you need um, here we go theme editor you can create your own themes which is kind of cool uh, you can even just adjust the header so maybe if we want to use just that one and there it is so we've changed the header you can also put your own custom ones in there, so upload an image, which is really nice. You can adjust the text uh, and how that all looks, which is cool. That's how you modify your website. Now, the modules thing. Now, this is where the big, big part of it. Now, it's already filled out quite a bit. Everything that you see on your website is a module. So the even the shop, which is a donation craft server store, is a module so we can add in like I don't you can kind of you can just view all these modules so if you want to do top player server players that one's already in there online player grid server status vote for diamonds this is the voting one which is going to be huge so we're going to click on that one 
we want to edit this module here so we want to run it on the guide and then we want to um, name it whatever you want and then you want to add active servers so we have one active server um, once we have that we want to click on rewards and then you want to create the rewards that players will get for voting on your server so um, money and then we're gonna run this require user to be online eco give name 50 bucks right is that the right uh, we probably want to do UUID instead instead of name UUID so there we go it's gonna add that many you can add credit points as well um, you can also give them items from the store which is really cool so we're gonna create reward okay and there it is so we've created the reward it hasn't done anything yet it's not actually active so you have to select when did, when do you want that reward to give so we want to do create user voted on any selected website one time in the last one day so then we want to collect select reward to give the user then we want to do money so that's what you need to do those are the two things you need to do in order to give rewards so you want to give the rewards and then you want to um, set up when to give the reward so reward and then when there we go now if you want to give more than just three then then you need to um, upgrade your plan there's a whole lot of more modules in here to, to play with there's shoutbox you can set up a chat in there it's a lot of different stuff now by default it, it has a lot of different things set up already so here here you can see we have online players you have your vote for rewards um, really cool so hopefully that guy that helps you out engine is a huge plugin I might make a follow-up one to go more in depth but hopefully that gets you guys started and uh, feel free to ask some questions I'll do my best to answer it but engine does have a great support system and a, and a, uh, a help article section so this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game God bless